Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and in this video I have a really exciting unboxing and it's a design team that I am going to belong to now and I don't know if I am going to put it in the title but if I actually I'm not going to put it in the title so right now you want to pause and guess which design team it is you can write it in the comments to see if you get it I'm so excited. I couldn't start before because I had, uh, as I've said in my last video, I had the plague that sucked. But finally, ready to do it. And it's such a twist kit. Yay, I'm so excited. <coughs> okay. And I already see a lot of Puffy Alpha stickers. And these are probably my freaking favorite in the whole scrappy world because they're always really cute. First of all, the colors are really nice. They always pick really good uh, fonts, but they have numbers. <laughs> and I, I, if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know how annoying I am about the numbers, but I'm really excited. I love these orangey ones. And this blue ones love the fonts and the numbers. You see, it's not that hard to put numbers in there. I wonder why people do it. Maybe they're not as popular as I think they should be or they are. I uh, love this color and the font. This is so cute. I think I have this one, but I still freaking love it because oh, the numbers are so pretty. I love them so, so much. So excited. I love this ombre sort of color like a sunset skin. And this rose gold is really pretty. It's a copper or I think it's that that line between copper and rose gold. Really beautiful. White. I love white. So it's really awesome to put on photos so it they pop. And I have some extras around here. Okay. And I do love the little bits of um, sequence. You know, I love those. And these are little die cuts. It says inhale tacos. Uh, this makes it all better and stay lovely. I'm going to put these to the side so I don't lose them. I love their life crafted albums oh my god i'm using uh the six by eight for my 2021 december daily and i love the quality and i feel like the sizes of the photos are more exact than simple stories i feel that simple stories runs kind of big almost like three eighths of an inch i want to say <clears throat> and i hope i don't lose my voice during this video because the plague left me very weak. <clears throat> okay. And this is the Slow Days Mini, which is for January 2023. And it has ephemera, tiny words, card so cardstock stickers, uh, tiny alphabet, and uh, stamp set. Ooh. I love this color, and this is so, um, what is that Danish word, Hova? I don't know how to pronounce that. I was listening to a book by a Danish author, and he said it, and I kept rewinding it, like, so many times so I can try to learn how to say it, but I never, I never learned how to say Hova or however you pronounce it. This is so cute. I like it because it's very homey. It's colors for the whole year. And it also has some reading elements. And I'm still working on my reading um, journal. So I might use it for that. I think it would be a really good one to like finish the year with uh, all the items in this mini kit. <clears throat> love these choose kindness. And I love... The mix of different fonts. Really pretty. And again, numbers. Oh, and there's white ones too. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. I love white alphas. I don't know what it is. They're just really awesome. And fresh starts. I think that's the same. No, this is from a past kit because the January kit is called Slow Days. New year, new feels, new chances, fresh starts. Best time for new beginnings is now. And you know what I haven't done? The intro for 2019, 2020. Actually, no, I did 20, uh, 2020. But I haven't done 2021 and 2022. So this may be a good... You know what you should do? Yeah, well, if you do it now. Oh, this is so beautiful. I do love citrusy colors, flowers. Oh, this is really pretty. That um, looks like one of those uh, cutting mats. Oh, this is cute. It looks like the Animal Crossing uh, grass. <laughs> I don't know why my mind went there. I don't know. Like Maybe I can sort of hear my poor villagers saying, Oh, I love this. What's a, this is a beautiful pattern. And it can be like flower, but it also looks like a snowflake. So I'm gonna see if I can find the digital version, then turn it black and white, and then turn down the contrast to make it like white and gray. That would be really cute. Ooh, I love this pattern. And it makes your eyes go a little crazy, but I do like to use my mini. That's so beautiful, it looks like a shirt my husband has. I love using my mini dies from Long Fawn to create like little sprinkles that I can use throughout my layout. I love the cards, the quality is so good. And even though I, I use the square corners and the rounded corners, if I had to choose, I would definitely pick uh, square corners. I think I'm not the only one well, thanks to that since now they've all went with the square corners love, love love this is so cute because you can fold it remember those uh, or it can look like a postcard you can put a photo here or you can put the week so many ideas but you remember in the project life kits that they had some cards that folded and you can journal inside story some folding oh i love this option of horizontal and vertical do more things than bring you real and honest joy i love that and i love that i can journal with my handwriting here this is so freaking cool i love this one i love the color i love the pattern i love that i can write really small with my tumbow uh mono joint pen the zero two is my favorite so that would be perfect for that magical oh Love this one. I can still turn it to the side and then put like a sticker here or no, better this way. So I can put the sticker here and then do my journaling like this. Although I might use it in Lifecrafted albums also. So who knows? Love this one. So pretty. Yes. <clears throat> Conversations. I love this because, again, you can use a little photo. Caffeine. Just had mine, so I'm not going to be that. I'm supposed to not be that scatterbrained right now. Because I always, like, my brain goes places and wonders. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I haven't drank coffee. Today I have coffee. I, I should be functional. <laughs> Code word should be. I love this. Sweet, cute. Heart, and I always love these little sprinkles of stars and hearts and I love little word stickers what a mixtape that's pretty cool unforgettable and uh, okay and I also have a few elements that are very nature love the fruit so cute the bow and the deer i could use this like in december though although it would be the only one <laughs> beginning with purpose and patience enjoy the little things 
fresh start. Again, I can use that for my um, for the beginning of the year and let the adventures begin. Love. These are basics and legends. Yes, I love their basics. They're so pretty. I love a good foot pattern. Oh, I love this. I can use that in my, again, my um, book journal thing. Oh, I love this. Oh, I can do some lettering in this. And it's pretty soft, so I'm pretty sure the Tomo Fudanosuke would like pretty well. Ooh, love that. So pretty. And I love patterns where that look like school papers and stuff like that because then I can use my real handwriting, which is something that I've been trying to do more often. I love this. This would be so cute for a mini layout. Ashley Horton did one last year where she had something in the middle and then she had like sequins and stuff like that. I I, I saved that on my Instagram, but um, now I can't remember which one which ones of my layouts, December Daily albums, etc. Oh, this is so cute. <clears throat> oh my god, I hope I don't lose my voice. Uh, feels good to be home. We are very home. We're home people in this house. We're homebodies. We love being at home. Finding beauty. Grant yourself grace. Homebody. Small joys. Take time to make your heart happy. And I love this because lately I think this is like a trend where a stamp has uh, different layers and it looks so pretty. So I can't wait to do that. <clears throat> uh, let's do what we love and do a lot of it. Oh, I love that. And here in the middle you can put something like the little house or the heart. <clears throat> Ooh, you know that I love uh, an alpha stamp, an alpha stickers, and look, I'm going to be, the, you know what, this is the last time I'm going to say in this video, maybe, I'm going to try, but I love this font, it's so pretty, and it's the same one, I think it's Emma, yeah, this is the uh, uppercase and lowercase of Emma, and this is Penelope, and I love this one, I think, Dearly D. Uh, Diane Williams uses this one a lot. It's really beautiful. So elegant, too. This one is more playful. I love them. <clears throat> and the albums. And I love the albums. And <laughs> I have a dumb reason for it. And, uh, well, uh, so the thing is that when I was looking for new albums for the December Daily because I, I used to use the one from Simple Stories and they were pretty good but that year I couldn't find one and I just got one from Studio Cabico and it would it used to like wobble so much actually let me show you and this is a super dumb complaint <laughs> but it kind of and now that it's kind of full I mind it a lot less it's really full this is my December Daily 2020 and this is the Alpha from uh, this one, love it. <clears throat> so, it used to move a lot, and it annoyed me so much. I don't know why. And then the simple stories, it's kind of difficult to keep open. You have to like keep pressing on it, which is something that I did like about this one. And I feel like this is the Goldilocks of the of the albums because it opens all the way, but when you have it like that, it doesn't doesn't wobble too much. And it comes with pages, and I love this color. So, uh, last October, we took a trip to New York to go to Legoland, and on the way, we stopped at the Philadelphia Zoo. And then I have all the pictures of my daughters dressing up for Halloween. So, I don't know if I should do, like, an October daily light, you know, important stuff that happened in October. Or if because I've, I had also the idea of doing an album, my daughters love to dress up for Halloween. So 
I had the idea of doing an album with just pictures of their costumes. And I was thinking there is, okay, so that one is not here. Let me see if it's in the pack that you see. There is one where you have the a four by six space. And then at the bottom, you have like a little space where you can turn. Okay, so we have this one that has three pockets. Let me see. We have the smaller ones. We have the two by twos. We have the one for the Instax. And well, I don't have it here, but I know that I have it in another pack that there's like a four by six and then there's a smaller one. <clears throat> so I was thinking that I could put a four by six photo and then at the bottom the description and stuff like that. Maybe even a picture of the original character. Because my daughter was a um, little pony for five years in a row. It was awesome. But now that my little ponies have changed and my little ponies that she was imitating were the equestria girls that were like more like human sort of full. So I can put a picture of the original character and then the <clears throat> the picture of the girls with the costume. Ooh, and I love this one. So you see, actually, no, uh, I got confused. I either wanted to do just Legoland in here, but then I was like, I have the pictures of the suit and I have the pictures of the costume. So I got this one because I was like, maybe I can do like the October Daily in this one. And I love this color. And aren't these colors like so perfect for the ideas that I said? Or then I was like, uh, <laughs> this is how it is to live in my brain. I also have the idea to maybe this year do the book journal in one of these life crafted uh, fourth by eight albums. So I don't know. I don't know. And I love the quality of these page protectors. I love these albums. They're so good. And then I have these which they're just strips with adhesive and then you can put a big picture on it or you can put, instead of putting it in a page protector, you can just put it on top and it looks like a little thing, but they are amazing. I freaking love these. So that is my haul for this month. I also get to use their printables, which I love, they're so beautiful. And then I can choose the paper that I want to use because for my book journal, since it's in one of those Everyday Explorers 4x6 mini albums, they get pretty chunky real fast. So what I do is I print it in a presentation paper that is a bit thinner. Okay, so usually I use this Canon matte photo paper for the journaling cards. But for that mini album, I'm using the presentation paper. But it's not the premium. The premium one has the same weight as the matte photo paper. They both work really well with printables. I recommend them both from this one is Canon and this one is Epson. But this one is a little bit thinner. So when I put them inside that Everyday Explorers Mini Bookmakers Club mini album, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, it doesn't add too much weight to it and then I can pick if I want to make it like a whole page or I want to make it uh, four by six or three by four so I can turn it into a card so I'm excited about the possibilities I love printables I know that you guys know that and the good thing about printables is that I know that around the world the shipping prices are crazy so I think that if you find especially for people outside of the U.S. when dealing with companies that are U.S. based. It's a great way to find, you know, either a good place to print them like Staples or to find yourself paper and a good printer to uh, do your own printables and stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome. I am so excited to start working with all of these things. I am so happy that I've been in their 
design team before a few years back and I love that so I'm so excited to be back I am really really happy and I hope you enjoyed this haul let me know what was your favorite thing thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having an awesome day bye